I suppose that is the thing about rivers, really. The fact that they're a source of fresh water and a food supply and an easy way of getting around. People have always been drawn to rivers. And I mean, when you think about it, most of our towns are actually built on rivers. And just like on land, the secrets of all those people's past can be found just beneath the surface. I'm meeting Pat McManus and the Athlone Sabacwood Club, who are investigating a very curious boat at the bottom of the lake. Pat is mapping the riverbed of the Shannon, and it's a couple of hundred years since this was last done. And so how, how are we going to survey today? We're going to use sonar today, which is an electronic method of, of taking the, the depths and the position. And, and tell me, what's the strangest thing you've found down there, apart from surveying the rock and the geology underneath? What else is down there? I found boats going back to the Bronze Age. Come which, on, which yeah. We, oh yeah, which we reported. We bring those back to the National Museum. Uh, we found a lot of uh, old wrecks, but there's, there's one interesting one that we're going to look at today, hopefully. Who owns the boat? Or we have no idea at all. But surely there's a register of every boat in the country and... There is now, yeah. but it depends on how long that's down there. That could be 30, 40, 50 years there. It could be longer. Right, John, we're just about to approach the dive site now. And if you just watch this, you'll actually see... We should be able to see the boat on, on the left-hand side. And then that's directly under us now that, we're looking at. That is directly under us. How many feet? Oh, look. There you are. That's her. That's her there. Do you see her there? Yeah. That's almost a good there. That's so precise. Yeah, it is. We move back to allow the dive team get ready. It could be a complicated dive and the divers will need to be careful not to disturb the vessel too much. Visibility is poor and disturbing the peas and sediment at the bottom of the lake bed is very easily done. Because they are diving in fresh water rather than salt water, the divers are hopeful that the boat will be preserved and in good condition. Professional diver Niall McHugh knows how the past can come to life in a dive situation. And he takes me through the clues he has found underwater. I mean, I know you're diving for a living. But when you swim into a space like that and that silence, yeah. is there a kind of an eerie... Ah, there is, all right, yeah. I mean, it, it's otherworldly, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, if you swim into a boat there that's, that's sitting there that long, I mean, you always have it in your head for the unexpected. Like. So what about peeping in the windows? Is that someone peeping back out of the your own? <laughs> yeah. Jeez, it looks like we... It looks like it went down in a hurry anyway because um, a lot of stuff is still there. Um, I mean, there's even cups still hanging up on the, on the, on the cupboard inside, like as if someone had to get off it very quickly. There's the cooker there. Teapot sitting on it! Yeah. <laughs> You'd expect it to float away, wouldn't it? <laughs> you have to be knocked off. Yeah. Yeah. And we've no idea who owns it? No idea who owns it. No, I, I did see a name on the back as we come around. Delight. Is, is that the kind of that's the script that they had on the logo? That's the brand name. Yeah. I have a theory now, right? Um, it was never one in guns, I think. That's possible. It wouldn't be the first one that was swimming on the lake. No, it certainly <laughs> wouldn't be. But there's a story here around this area that the boat carrying gold for the IRA from Longford to Roscommon, and it's sunk somewhere up in the head of the lake. And when I found the boat from just around the, the, the headland there, um, a local said, oh, that's probably the boat gold in it. But it wasn't. I suppose half the fun of this is speculating, and they would all great mysteries if you saw them, but you've ruined it. <laughs> yeah. some, some, so in ways, I suppose we're better off not knowing, and maybe yeah. somebody will, will come up with an explanation and say, ah, that's what happened, you yeah, know? Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. But for now, the mystery remains intact, and I'm actually delighted. You don't mind me asking you both, where did you actually hide the gold? As I was to men saying, I think I'll let the mystery be. Yeah, that's yeah. great, that's great. <laughs>